How's it going, Amazing Blue fans? We got O'Corns. So, Michigan just finished playing Ohio State. And we lost. So, let's get into it. As always, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to run through the stats and then just tell you about this disappointment. So, Ohio State has JT Barrett and... Dennis Haskins, because JT Barrett got hurt in the third quarter. So I'm just going to run through the stats, and then I'm going to get into what happened. So JT Barrett was 3 of 8, 37% for 30 yards and a TD. Dennis Haskins, who came in late third quarter, was 6 of 7, 85% for 94 yards passing. Their running game, Dobbins was 15 carries for 101 yards, a TD. JT Bear had 15 carries for 66 yards in a TD. And Mike Weber had 12 carries for 57 yards in a TD. So, that doesn't sound good right there. Okay, let's uh, see what Michigan had. O'Corn was 17 and 32 for 53%, 195 yards in a TD. Higdon was 17 carries, 55 yards in the TD. And Evans was had 11 carries for 67 yards. Okay, so Michigan comes out, punts. Ohio State gets the ball, punts it back. And then Michigan has a good drive, scores a touchdown. Then Ohio State punts again, and Michigan scores again. So the end of the first quarter is 14 nothing. Then Ohio State gets the ball back and they start doing what they usually do. When they can't move the ball, JT Barrett turns into a running back. Like I said in the video for the pregame, we have to stop JT Barrett. And we didn't. So Ohio State comes out the next two that first drive when they scored and we we had him in the red zone and Metellus, Josh Metellus, JT Barrett overthrows the ball and it goes right in his hands. He sees it and he drops it. Two plays later, JT Barrett is walking in the end zone. Have to make those plays. Have to make them. So then Michigan punts and Ohio State comes out, scores again. And on these drives, the first drive, there were a lot of mistakes by Michigan on defense holding and false starts, I mean, uh, offside, stuff like that. So it was just when we needed our defense to step up in the first half, once they got the momentum, they really didn't. So we go into halftime, tied 14-14. Second half starts, Michigan scores, and then JT Barrett, he gets hurt. So we're all thinking, it's, okay, is this our year to get one? I wasn't because I knew it's Ohio State. because they So they have a freak of nature on the bench. They have, they have somebody capable, even though they're a red shirt freshman. And this is something I was telling my boy. It's not the NFL. There's not a huge drop-off when you put in somebody else. Unless you just have somebody that's just ridiculous. But this is college. I don't care if you're a freshman, freshman, red shirt freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Those dudes can come in and play. It doesn't matter if they're a true freshman or what. If they can play, they can play. So he comes in, leads a, makes a hell of a throw on a third and 13, and... Ohio State ends up scoring. He ends up running around the edge and getting them in field, getting them in uh in the red zone. And then Mike Weber or Do I believe it was Dobbins punch, punches it in from like two yards. So this is where O'Corn starts to mess up the game. This is where he really starts messing up the game. So O'Corn, we're moving the ball. We pick up like. Eight yards on a first down. Second down, O'Corn falls down. Doesn't try to get the handoff off. He just falls down. Then third down, he um third down, he gets he just throws it away or it's incomplete. 
No, the ball gets tipped. Then so we go for it on fourth down and we don't get it. So Ohio State ends up coming back down and getting in field goal range. And they get a they get a field goal. And this is the point where so we get the ball again. Michigan gets the ball again. Ohio State misses a field goal. This is late fourth quarter. They miss a field goal, and we're down 24, 24 to 20. So, of course, there's about six minutes left in the game. We get the ball back with good field position, and O'Corn throws a pick. The first play, we get the ball back, and this is – the game was over after this because our defense just didn't have anything left. So O'Corn throws that pick and they just score. Like Ohio State scores on some type of a running play. I'm not sure what it was, but now I'm just gonna get into what's what 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 really happened. O'Corn just lost this game for us. Like he just lost the game. The 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 sim- he missed about four wide open players, but. During those drives early in the game, we end up scoring still, even though he missed them. But the game goes on. There's a one another play in like the third or maybe early fourth quarter. He misses a guy down downfield. He doesn't even see him. He's 40 yards downfield, and he's got probably 10 yards. Excuse me. He's got like 10 yards in between him where there's no one around him. And he just doesn't see him. He takes a sack. Then on the play where he falls down, that messed us. That messed up that drive because it was it was second and like two, or maybe one, and then he falls down and makes it third and four, and then we don't get anything on the next two plays. And then the 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 play that just killed me was we get the ball back down twenty four to twenty with like we're on the thirty five of the forty. We're so we've got good for p- field position. And this man just throws the ball. It was a miscommunication. The wide receiver runs like a 15-yard in route. And O'Corn throws it about 30 yards deep. 30, maybe 40 yards deep where there's two safeties back. So even if he ran the right route, it wouldn't have been open. There was two safeties right there. Like, what are you doing? Like... This is why I wanted Malzone to play because he can't play any worse than John O'Corn. Like there were so many chances I was like, take him out, put Malzone in. Because the plays he even make, the plays he even made, anybody could have made him. Like they were just throws to the flats and things like that. The the plays that he made downfield, they were so close that it was just the wide receiver making a hell of a play. Like, I, I'm so mad watching that game. Take him out of the game. Stop giving him chances to blow the game. He's not going to win it for you. He's just not going to do it. Like, it's ridiculous. This is college football. Why, if if you're too scared to put Malzone in the game, why is he on the team? That's my thing. Why is he on the team? If you're too scared to put him in the game, he shouldn't even have a scholarship. Like, why do you have dudes on the bench and you're too so scared to put him in the game? Why does he have a scholarship? That doesn't make sense to me. So, O'Corn is in the game. He's that bad. Get him out of there. Like, he's not going to win us the game. He's going to lose it for us. And that's what he did. Like, I try to give people a chance and not just go off, but this was ridiculous. Like, Ohio State gave us every chance to win that game. Every chance to win that game. So, I can't talk about the play call and the running backs or the offensive line. Because they play all play well enough to give us a chance to win the game. It was O'Corn. It was just him. He just, he just lost the game for us. It was ridiculous. So, I'm done talking about him. Let me let, let me get on the defense. Because you normally the defense, I don't have to talk about the defense really because they just play well. But... The defense, what I've noticed is one thing, One. let me first start with Don Brown and the Viper. When we play teams like Ohio State, stop running the Viper. 
get in a nickel or get in a 4-3 so our, our linebackers can read and react and stop sitting back. And they're just sitting back and they can actually read. But when we get in these this Viper and everybody's at the line acting like we're going to blitz and drop out, they're, they're running option plays and running plays, and we're just – everybody's getting blocked. So JT Barrett's back there just picking a hole because everybody's gotten blocked. So he's just picking a hole and deciding what he wants to do. And that's what kept them in the game. Like we were up 14 nothing, and then they scored 14 straight and tied it up, and then the game just changed. The moment, whole moment, momentum of the game changed all the way around. So – I want to see us get out the Viper. You can run that Viper against Minnesota and Purdue and all these teams. And you can run it sometimes against Ohio State, but you can't make that your base defense. You can't do it. Even the commentator was saying, like, we need to get out that same defense. Like, it's not working. It's not going to work on them. You have to get out of that. So, that's just one. Two. Our defense has to show more pride when it's not going when things aren't going well. You still have to fly around the ball and everything like that. Our tackling after passes were completed and stuff, it was just horrible. Like even on uh those first couple drives when Ohio State finally got momentum, we had so many chances on third down to stop them. JT Barrett, Rashawn Gary, you there's no reason you should have JT Barrett full in your grasp. And he spins out of it. That's just heart. That's just him wanting to get the first down more than you. You got him three yards in the backfield. I mean, three yards away from the first down. He spins off of you when you have him. And he gets the first down. Like, plays are like that are just ridiculous. I'm watching I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching John O'Corn at the press conference. He's, he's, he's kind of in tears like he's been crying. And I can't blame him because he he blew that game for our team. Like, he blew it. Like, he really had the chance to go down and be a legend for Michigan. Like, he would have been a legend if he won this game somehow. And you don't, so you're the, you're the GOAT or the low. So whatever you want to call it, that's what he is. Like, he's just an a-hole for Michigan. Like, that's all he is. It's like, it's just it's sad, but it's, it's the truth. But uh, the defense just showed – when it's going good, they show passion, but when it's not and the offense is, like, making mistakes and, uh, like, they get down on themselves and things like that, and it just it just shows up. And it, you see that they lose the passion and everything, and you can't play like that. You have to keep continue to play with that passion. This game, is it means too much. Like, you have to continue to play with your heart. Like, it's the last game. Like, you, there's nothing else to play for. You lay it all on the line when we play, especially, it's every game, but especially when we play play OSU. Like, you got to put it all out there. There's no holding back, and you got to, um, there's no tired and all that. Like, you got to go and suck it up. We're playing OSU. Like, this is all that matters right now. So, besides that on the defense, Metellus and Cannell, I'm hoping we have somebody in to replace them. They can play somewhat, but... They just make too many mistakes. They're the, they're the weaknesses on our defense. If it's not them grabbing and holding, there was a play when JT Barrett had his first score. Cannell is back there. He's in the end zone, and J, uh, JT Barrett is coming up, and he passes the line of scrimmage, and Cannell goes back and tries to defend the receiver and never even runs up. Like Plays like that, when when we have a, quarter, uh, a good quarter – when we play a good quarterback and he can run, the pursuit on those plays, it's just laughable. I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to be honest about everything and what I'm seeing. It's laughable, the pursuit that we have on these plays. Like, I was I was on the phone with my boy, and I was just telling him, like, it looks like our dudes, are, aren't they stop running. Like, the pursuit is, is ridiculous. They stop running. And the pursuit from the front end when the quarterback is running towards him and he's gotten out of the pocket, it's laughable. Like, they're jogging to these plays. They're not coming up trying to lay some wood and knock the quarterback out. Like, it's like they're jogging. Like, show some heart. Just because he got away from you, go get him. You should, you should, when a quarterback gets out the pocket, 
You should want to punish him and make sure he doesn't want to run the ball again. That's how you stop him from wanting to run the ball. Come up and lay some wood. I'm seeing too many passive hits. Like we're waiting for them to come up and run into us. No, you don't wait for somebody to run into you. You go run into them. That's how you tackle. Like we have to get that physical nature and sustain it because from from we had it against Florida. We had it against uh, Maryland. It comes and goes. It should be every game. Every game we should be coming out and teams shouldn't want to play us. Because they know we're going we're not just going to scheme and be in the right schemes, but we're going to lay that wood. That's the difference between good and great defenses. And we're young, so I'll give us that. But there's no excuse for for not playing hard all all the time. Like there's no excuse for that. And some of the plays it just they just quit. It's like they don't want to play. Like they 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 see a guy getting close to the sideline and they want to push him. And he doesn't go out of bounds. Like some of these plays, they don't the guy they push a guy, he doesn't go out of bounds, and they're quitting. They're like, oh, he's gonna go out of bounds. No, make sure he's out of bounds. Finish the play. Like you have to finish these plays. And that's just the thing. Like, this was this game was us hoping OSU would give us the game. No, you have to take it. They're used to beating us. So you have to take the game from them. They're not going, oh, okay, Michigan's up. No, you have to take it. And that's the difference. See, we're used to losing to them. So when you're used to, used to losing to somebody, you, you, you get up and you think the game is over. You think, oh, okay. No, they're not going to quit. They're used to beating us. So when you're used to beating somebody, it's like when you play your little brother in basketball or whoever, and you're used to beating them and they get up, they start getting happy and they think they got the game and you start playing harder because you're not you're not finna beat me. You're not going to beat me. No, nah, you think I'm going to lose to you? And it's Michigan Ohio State, but we, we we don't beat them anymore. So they're not used to losing to us. So they got that mentality. No, you're not going to beat us. No. No, it's not going to happen. So you have to take the game. And I was I have to say overall I'm happy with the with the performance and the in the output that Jim Harbaugh had our team ready to play, had the play calls, the schemes. He had it all ready. But his one mistake was trusting O'Corn and putting out O'Corn out on that field. That was his biggest mistake. And then he stayed with him. Oh, okay. He, I'm gonna keep giving him chances. The defenses keep giving him chances. No, reward your defense by putting Malzone in and giving us a chance with him. Because nobody believes in O'Corn, and he doesn't give us reason to believe in O'Corn. I can see if he gave us reasons to believe in him. He didn't make any plays today that were like, oh, okay, he's doing something special. The plays he made, anybody could have made. Any quarterback could have made the plays that he made today, especially the bad ones. So... I'm I'm sorry, but I'm, I just watched the game and I'm heated. I'm heated today because we had that game. We had that game, and Ohio, Ohio State gave us every chance to win the game. That's the big thing. They gave us the chances to win. Like that's just sad. It's sad. Harbaugh. This is one thing I say Harbaugh has to learn, and people want want to always say, "Oh, you don't know what's what what." You're not in practice. But guess what? Practice ain't the game. Practice is not the game. So you don't know what Malzone might do when it's a game. It's OSU versus Michigan State. I mean, OSU versus Michigan. You don't know what he might do. He might go out there and do what that red shirt freshman just did. Win the game and make big plays. So I don't want to hear none of, none of that. Oh, you're not in practice. This is college. If he's got a if he's got a if he's got a, a scholarship and he's a quarterback, put him in the game and get that garbage man out. Like there's no excuse. So I'm sorry I had I'm I'm yelling a little bit, but I'm hot. I'm hot because we had that game. There was no O'Corn just lost the game for us. And I feel bad for him, but he did. He, he lost the game for that that whole team. And this is my thing. 
why I would never want you to go with a quarterback. There's 50 some other players on that team. So when you go and you let a quarterback play garbage for most of the game and you ride with him and it's a close game, you're letting all those other other players down. And you and you the in the backups, you're letting them know you don't you won't even give them a chance to win the game. You'd rather go down with this dude and let down 60 some players than than give somebody else a chance to win the game. And that's just not right to me. There's too many players on a on a football team to go down with somebody up with a quarterback playing garbage. But uh that's that's all I got to say to, for today. Michigan lost the game. It ended up being like 31 to 20, but it was it was way closer than that. Ohio State punched in another touchdown at the end when our defense just quit because it's sad because our our uh O'Corn threw that pick after they got him the ball back. Threw it on the first play. The first play and you throw a pick. But uh, that's all I got to say. I'm just sad, disappointed in in Harbaugh for riding with O'Corn. I'm just disappointed in that. Because, and people say that he's stubborn with his quarterbacks. He'll do that. And he, he has to learn that's not the right way. It's not the right way in college. This isn't, this isn't the pros. But, uh... We'll see what bowl game we, we we get in. This is the last game of the season, so uh, for, well for us until bowl season. So uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, and uh, go blue. Hopefully, Peters is ready for the bowl game, so we can see what he has.